It's the worst drug epidemic in U.S. history, yet there are accusations tonight that the opioid crisis is being fueled by drug companies and even the U.S. Congress. A joint 60 Minutes Washington Post investigation has many drug addicts feeling betrayed. CBS 2's Roseanne Tay is with local reaction to an explosive story. This made the whole crack epidemic look like nothing. Former DEA official and whistleblower Joe Ranazisi told 60 Minutes that drug companies are knowingly shipping to suspicious doctors and rogue pharmacies practically unchecked. Example, this pharmacy in Kermit, West Virginia, a town of 392 people that ordered more than 9 million hydrocodone pills in two years. They were just drug dealers in lab coats. That doesn't make any sense. There is no legitimate need to have millions of very dangerous pills go to very small cities and hamlets. Chicago and Peter Bensinger, a DEA administrator to three presidents, talked to us via FaceTime. He says the agency's mission is to protect Americans from such highly addictive opioids. That mission has been thwarted by an act of Congress. Legislation backed by powerful drug companies that stripped the DEA's enforcement powers just as the opioid epidemic was peaking. It's a battle every day of my life. Dennis Pagash, prescribed painkillers for a bad back, is now being treated for addiction. I had a good paying job. I was had a family and I lost everything to this. Yet he was encouraged to try more pills. I just wasn't educated by the doctors because I believe that the doctors were in it with the pharmaceutical companies to make, uh, make money. Bensinger says the legislation must be rolled back to stem the opioid crisis. It's now a number one danger, but the number of overdose deaths are 10,000, going to 20,000, and that's just unacceptable. Attorneys general across the country, including Lisa Madigan here in Illinois, are also investigating several opioid manufacturers for unlawful marketing practices. And as you heard, patients often have no idea that this little pill mm. is going to cause them such heartbreak. So many shocking pieces to this, but that number mm. 9 million pills coming from such a small town. And just now we're hearing about this. Right. And, you know, the drug companies really have a responsibility to point that out. They want to blame the doctors for prescribing the drug, mm. but it's hard to it's like explain sending that many play. pills. It's their, it's their fault. It's their fault. Mm. But even before this story, it seems like people have been becoming increasingly aware about just how addictive and how troublesome these pills can be, this yes. type of drugs. Eye-opening statistics, that's yes. for sure. Thank you, Roseanne.